Hello everybody, here we are down the garden again. Um, you remember the clay processing that we were doing. You saw us mixing it and then putting it through that sieve here on this one down here. Well, that's all been left now, I don't know, a week or 10 days. So we've taken the lid off. Of course I've been, uh, I've taken certain amount of water off this because it settled out you know uh, the heavy particles of course going to the very bottom first and then a finer and finer uh, layers progressively towards the very top and then we sponged off the water and siphoned it out um, perhaps you just bring the camera in here and we can have a look at the clay a little bit just to see what it is how it is looking at the moment uh, you can see it's cracking um, this is now getting to the stage where it's, it's getting ready to come out so basically but what we need to do is if there's any little bits of dirt that have fallen in here insects etc now's the time to scoop them out which I'm doing An odd little leaf and things like that. Try to keep it closed up at night time. Um, we'll put the lid on, you know. But during the daytime when it's warm and sunny we want to expose it to the to the air and let it just dry naturally. This is quite nice now. So what we're going to do is, um, what I don't really want to do is take the stuff off the very very bottom because in the very bottom the uh, there will be more granular uh, gritty bits and I don't want that so I'm going to have to be careful what, what we're going to do with it though what, when we've got it out we're going to put it actually well what one can do is one can put it on on plaster bats such as these which have got quite a lot of absorbency and they will dry the clay very quickly this clay isn't going to need very much drying because it's already quite quite dry in there or dry is the wrong word it's not dry it's 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 moist but you know what I mean um, that's one thing the problem of course with plaster bats is you have to be very careful that you don't get any plaster getting into the clay itself because if you do it's a disaster it will cause the, a blowout in the in the pot so here in Spain in the construction industry they use a lot of these extruded clay um, pieces which we call them bardos here but so what I propose to do is to take some of that clay out and we're going to put it there on the on these tablets right let's just see perhaps we could have a bit of camera down here we can see what's going on So it's going to put that Of course it's uh, a lot drier on the top of the clay than it is underneath underneath here it So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm not going to go on now doing more of that because that's going to take me a quarter and a half minutes to get all that out of there. But just to give you the idea of what we're doing. So, incidentally, what I did do when when the clay was in the um, in the in the trough here, I did add some. Um, half a litre of vinegar to it 
that helps plasticity. I'm not quite sure the exactly the chemistry of it, but it, it does slightly. So anyway, processing our own clay, getting in touch with the ground. As potters, that's what we should be doing. Hey, Simon Leach here saying, keep practicing. See you around. Bye now.